Introduction to File Organization in DBMS In operating system, we had discussed about the file system interface and file system implementation. There, we saw what a file is, how the user view of the file is entirely different from how exactly the file is stored on the secondary storage. The file is considered to be a set of logical blocks and each logical block occupies a physical block on the disk. The allocation of these physical blocks to the file can be either contiguous or non-contiguous such as linked or indexed allocation. And these files with their blocks at different locations are organized and managed with the help of the file system. So all these factors regarding each file are taken care of by the file system corresponding to that partition. But coming to a database file, it requires some additional factors to be considered because a database file and a file access has some differences compared to all other files such as text, audio or video file. Hence, the database file and file organization need an additional concern. How? A database file is actually a set of records and each record is a sequence of attributes or fields. When a database file is kept on the secondary storage, like any other file, it will also be considered as a set of logical blocks and each logical block will be mapped to a physical block on the disk. Thus, each block will contain a particular number of records of that particular file. Let the size of each block be 8 kilobytes and the size of each record in this example is 3 kilobytes. It means in one block we can keep two complete records then a 2 KB space will be remaining. Thus, the one factor to be considered here is whether we should leave this space free and keep the third record in the next block. Otherwise, whether to keep a part of the third record in this space and the remaining part in the next block. That is, whether the record should be spanned or unspanned. If the records are made unspanned, if some space is free and if we cannot keep one entire record in that space, we will leave that space and keep the record in the next block. The record is said to be unspanned. The record cannot span over more than one block. The problem here is wastage of memory in every block of the file. And the advantage is if we know the block location of the record, we can access the record with one block access. And if we do not intend to leave this space free, we can keep a part of the record in this block and the remaining part of the record in the next block. Keeping a pointer if the blocks are not consecutive. That is, the records are allowed to be spanned over more than one block. The advantage here is we can save a lot of space and the problem here is even if we identify the location, the block location of the record, these spanned records require two block accesses. And the one factor that affects the choice of the spanned organization or unspanned organization is whether the file consists of fixed length records or variable length record. If every record of a file has exactly the same size, then the file is said to have fixed length records. So each record will occupy the same amount of storage on the physical block. And if different records are of different sizes, then the file is said to have variable length records. 
For fixed length records, unspanned organization is preferred since the relative position of every record in the block and the relative position of every field in the record can be realized easily and hence the record processing will be simplified. For variable length records, either a spanned or unspanned organization is used.